Yo, 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 that's three yo's in a row, and if you put them backwards, that's oi, 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 oi vey, Jewish matzo balls the size of testicles. Now, um, I'm sorry I haven't been posting a lot of videos recently, and that's gonna change, because I've just got, you know, some gameplay stacked up, and I just did a few commentaries, so I apologize for that. And also, on that note, I kind of want to mention, it was a little bit due to not having a channel that makes me upset every once in a while and just doesn't make me want to do a commentary and not quit YouTube. I mean, I hate when people say, like, you know, they're, they're thinking about doing that. Like, there's no reason to be saying that, really. Um, it's fine. It doesn't bother me. When I don't make a video for a week or whatever, that's fine with me. I honestly don't care. It doesn't mean I'm gone. It doesn't mean I don't like it. I just, I don't think so seriously. Some people are like, you're so inactive or whatever. It's like, fine. I mean, that's the way I'm going to be. Would you want a video from me in your sub box every day? No. And I don't want to do that either. Uh, quality over quantity. Boobs. So, also, um, I'm going to make a new... I, I already made the new channel, and I'm going to link that to you in like my next video or something. Today is September uh, 7th, and I think yesterday was the last day you could open accounts. At least that's what I've been told. I'm not sure if that's true, but either way, we're going to move channels. So I'll be getting ready to do that soon, and that's why I just haven't really posted a video. Um, also, some of you may recognize this gameplay. It's a TDM on launch that I uploaded the other day, and I was talking about Modern Warfare 3, and I took that down just because um, that would suck to get a copyright strike. It really would. And I don't think you will because all this stuff was confirmed at XP and everyone's uploading it. But since I'm switching channels, um, I might try to get partnership over there and whatnot. And, um, you know, I'll probably upload that video over there anyway. And plus, Modern Warfare 3 is, like, not the most interesting. Um, I was thinking about that the other day, and it was like, when it comes out, if you have a channel less than 200,000 subs... Like, you're not going to get views. Those channels are going to blow up. They're going to get, like, maybe half a million views the first day. Some of them even more. And then everybody else everybody else might get to, like, 20,000 or something. But you could just totally miss it. Because um, everything... I mean, as soon as that game hits, everyone's going to have a video in the sub box. So it's like, who do you watch? You know, everything's going to be the same. You're probably going to X out most of the videos. Um, not, not that you don't like Modern Warfare 3. I'm just saying if you're looking at... You know, you got, th like, 30 videos in an hour. You know, you can't watch them all. So what I'm thinking about doing is maybe uh, saving up some life stories and telling them while I play Modern Warfare 3 in a live commentary when it comes out. That might be a little bit fun. Or um, talking about the gameplay, what I'm doing while doing something else. You know, in some live commentary like that. Um, but anyway, I want to move on to a very short story today. I guess not very long, but I just want to tell you that, that stuff. And also, a last camp excerpt story i guess um dan the maintenance man is pretty much done he's done a few more silly things that i guess i'll tell you about but nothing as big as <laughs> what he's been doing lately like spraying the bees stuff and i mean over the summer i'm back at school now and that sucks and i can't wait to go back to camp next year so i can see dan the maintenance man but um over the summer, this was maybe, I've been going to the camp for like six years, so I want to say maybe four years ago, um, we have a bonfire during the camp sleepover, and you remember I told uh, told you a little bit about the sleepover in my last video. Well, during this uh, sleepover, we had a bonfire, and every like 10 o'clock every year, they would have a bonfire out there, and the counselors would always play like a silly prank on the kids or whatever, and one of the uh, pool staff guys... He was supposed to dress up as, like, an axe murderer or whatever. I guess axe murderers have axes. This guy had a chainsaw. So he went back in the woods, and he was supposed to run out and scare the, uh, the kids with, like, a chainsaw and just kind of for fun. And since uh, we were having a sleepover that night, I guess the cops just knew of, you know, the, the camp would be active, there would be people on the property, so every hour they would just come by to just check things out. Nothing unusual. Well, the cop was there for the... Um, bonfire and he didn't know what was supposed to happen so he's sitting there you know like um i think he's leaning on his car in the back everybody's around the fire he's like way across the field just watching us and the pool staff guy comes out dressed in like full on i don't even know what he had he had like some camo and he had maybe face paint and uh he comes running out of the woods, just full-on booking it with the chainsaw, chasing the kids. And I see this cop from across the field, like, leap off his car, drop his donuts or whatever, reach for his gun, and he aims it straight at him. And I, he 
probably even had the safety off. And I swear, I don't know how he got the message, but uh, someone then told him that it was a joke and this was all meant to happen, and he stopped. But I swear he was like milliseconds away from just unloading on this guy. And uh, we talked to him after, and he was like, yeah, I'm glad someone told me now, or I would have put two in his chest or whatever. And that was like the craziest thing that I've ever seen. It was just so... I mean, I've never seen something like that before. Yeah, I've seen, like, cops shoot or whatever, but just, like, the look on this guy's face is just like, yeah, this guy's coming out with, like, a chainsaw, and he's gonna murder all these kids and stuff at a bonfire. It was crazy. I don't I don't even know, man. I don't even know. But um, I'll have some other videos up later today or tomorrow, hopefully, like I said, because I want to do more videos. And, uh, you know, that's pretty much it with my camp. Um, next year, we'll see Dan the Maintenance Man again. For this year, I covered, like, all six years that was there. Those were like the biggest things that Dan did. Uh, he'll be missed. What I am going to do is uh, put some links in the description. One's going to be my Twitter so you guys can play with me. Um, and I'm linking it to my new account that I just made. So this will be the last Twitter. Uh, this channel probably will get deleted, but my Twitter will not. So there you go. And also put some links to all the Dan videos. The Skunk Murder Rampage is by far the best one. So go watch that one. There's a second part I might re-upload, um, but some people will be like, I already saw that one star on sub. Uh, but I'll probably do that. And then there's a sleepover one. And yeah, so go check those links. If you like the video, just leave a like. And thanks for watching. Talk to you guys later.